large motor style shop so look this big box is kind of getting glare from the outside sun anyway so it's finally here this is the new arma creighton 8s blx but it's also exv so it's an extreme bash roller 8s blx um so i just opened the box and i wanted to pull out the truck and do the review right away but i ran into some technical difficulties and let me show what happened so when you open the box oh, it's a big box look what's going on here it's not assembled they give you wheels that you have to actually um put back so i say okay so let's start with the wheels so it's very cool because the wheels on this thing have actually a metal rim inside like on the hexagon and they actually made it this time in a way that it's embedded in the shape of the wheel the x but it's also have those notches that preventing it from moving um now um over here the edges it's what usually uh, uh, end up tearing off and we'll see how long it's gonna last uh, because they have like a stronger motor on it but it should have been cool if there was a lip over here giving us even the option to make it beadlocks uh, because you guys know that those tires like to explode um, but it's look like it's fairly glued uh, good so let's see what what will happen and uh, while, while it's outside like this uh, if you guys don't know the trick so those tires like to balloon a lot so what you do you're taking like uh, it's called fuse wire it's very thin metal wires and you just go over the entire thing and you wrap it out a couple time and you twist it and fold it sideways and then it cannot stretch and it's not really going to tear it out it just make it actually work a little bit better so we got here four wheels uh, let's throw them away over here they're all going wherever they feel like it yeah breaking my shop now we got here the body and of course they're giving you assembly guide uh if you don't know and you need the assembly guide um you should send it back because this is very easy anyway um while it's still on the box it's wrapped really really nice it's uh, just beautiful but we can actually already look here and see those arms how beefy they are and the adjustment here that it's actually plastic aluminum aluminum threads into the ball link over here this is actually really nice uh we're going to take it out in the bar in the box after i assemble it and show you actually some more details the body have a different colors so stay tuned i'm gonna do a second video right now i'm just gonna start assembling it uh and then i'm gonna show it and we're gonna go from there but i need to take it out of the box uh they tie in them with the zip ties that you have to really have to cut so i prepare all of this so you don't have to wait for me and we go out from there and then we're gonna go bash it stay tuned this is video number one jump to video number two uh probably like later on today or tomorrow and we go from there don't forget like subscribe and share we're gonna do like the new review for the arma it's kind of creating exb blx 8s there's a lot of stuff being changed so stay tuned okay everybody so it's going to be three parts not two parts and let me explain why so this is the new arma uh, extreme bash roller that it's also a blx 8s creating and by the way i just forgot this is Eric, RC Monster Garage, Motor Styles Hobby Shop. This place. Anyway, so the new Arma Creighton um, fifth scale, it's very big, so it did not even fit in the box. So they have to send everything kind of separate and you have to assemble it yourself. So I have here the pile of those huge, 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 huge uh, wheels. You guys know how big I am, you know how big my hands are. Look how small my hands look near those wheels. Okay, those wheels are absolutely humongous. They're much bigger than the regular uh, fifth scale. And then there was two more boxes that have some stuff inside. And of course, there is the vehicle that lets uncover it. They give you this uh, California specialty sandwich wrap, reusable sandwich wrap, okay? That you can actually just remove. And then you see this beautiful truck. Now, let's do this. 
let's start putting the wheels on it and i will kind of say a little bit what i'm doing while i'm doing that let's bring the camera a little bit closer make sure it's not gonna fall obviously it's not gonna fall so you get two boxes the quiet one have the remote inside uh they're giving you with this a regular remote i was a little bit disappointed disappointed i really want to see them uh giving with this a little bit better remotes you know charge a little bit more and give us those uh digital remotes instead of this okay i think it's going to work a little bit better for everybody um this specific remote i have a lot of problem with it uh and it's not that it's not working it's uh take time to bind sometimes look you want to run it and it's it will not bind right so for me it's kind of is a hassle i don't like it now the other box it's where you have all the important stuff so what you got here with all all those weird tools whoops pump the camera let's fix this okay but you need a big x key and then they give you all the other ratchets and other thing but you want this nice red key in order to use it on the aluminum so there is also a steel key and i don't like it for the wheels i rather use the aluminum on aluminum and of course they give you speed uh, gears and all the other good stuff everything of course uh wrapped in nylon that you have to actually tear it's a it's, it's a big tool look at this thing it's actually nicely done cnc so it's, it's actually pretty cool okay let's open this now i'm already see that there is a lot of play here okay some company claim that this play here it's to prevent the car actually getting uh, kind of breaking from from movement uh, this is just a slack that I don't like and uh, I'm gonna show you guys in other videos how to remove this This is pretty annoying for me to even see that it's still going there uh, Sometimes wheels have backward forwards. Those are you it look like uh, kind of Dual directions is no problem uh, find where it is and you're gonna put it in Let's get it in now on those big nuts there is actually those ribs those ribs going to the inside what it does it's actually help to hold the wheel so the wheel will not actually get loose and fly off uh, although they're going to do it occasionally by themselves now it's fun it's funny because a couple of years ago a company called red kit racing made something that big uh and the parts was flying all over the place because they never put any loctite or anything on it it was the r5 and it's too bad because it was a pretty decent truck that uh, could have been much better if they will just take the time to do it the right way uh, <clears throat> the same thing here you see like there is a lot of slack I can move it too much too much movement um, uh, probably when you're gonna be a aluminum uh, upgrade it will be better um, all the dog bones and everything I'm gonna go over on those one in a couple minutes uh, it's funny as soon as I put the wheels i did not even pay attention the the truck is drifting toward me because it's the, those wheels are so heavy okay and this is the rear and the same thing you're looking for where, where those grooves uh you put it in don't use any like drills or anything a lot of people think that it's a real car that you can put pneumatic tool and, and put it no it's not a race car you cannot do that you're going to ruin it completely now they did couple very cool thing on this truck that we're going to uh talk about in the number three part three on the review of the vehicle uh, so don't forget to like subscribe and share ah, it's so heavy so he heavy even if you are very very strong very heavy actually um, yeah so they changed the motors on those and I'm gonna show the motor in it like they put a bigger motor but they should put even bigger than that or as some of my customer will say bigger um, okay so they put a good size motor on it um, I guess we need to try it before we can actually say oh yeah we should have put like the castle creation or anything and then the steering servo on this one is much bigger than the previous one <clears throat> and they changed the body the body have like a nice nice graphics on it um they change a little bit look like the angle here the suddenly this step that i don't remember from the other vehicle maybe i'm mistaken maybe i'm not 
but I really don't remember this step from the other vehicles. Now, something that I haven't done here, but I will do later uh, on those nuts over here. Although it saved the grooves and everything, come on, get out here. Although it saved the grooves on it, I'm gonna do a couple drop of blue Loctite. Uh, it's a big truck, it's gonna have a lot of heat, heat in it, and it's gonna move fast, and this will pop off eventually. Let's close this. And last one, there's a big wheelie bar on this thing. And it is closed. Okay, so this thing is same already. And you know, I'm saying it is same already because we need to go over everything right now. And I keep dropping everything. So this is how the trucks look after I assembled it. It's have a big wheelie bars here, but again, I'm gonna show and explain everything right now in part three. So don't forget to jump to part three and don't forget to like, subscribe and share and put a comment below because uh, this is gonna be our demo car and eventually we're gonna give it away. None of you guys getting anything because you don't press the like, don't put a comment and you don't share the videos. And then you cry that you never get anything. Other people that did got free stuff if you want to be the next guy getting stuff, start doing your, your job. Share, look, tell people, write something in the comment. Now, part three, the review coming in right now. This is Eric at RC Monster Garage Moto Styles Hobby Shop. So, it's finally assembled, it's finally here. Uh, just put the, in the previous video if you missed it. I put the tires on it. I did the unboxing that it was kind of um, I did not expect that it's going to come in pieces, uh, but it's only the wheels not a big deal It's not really pieces. It's just wheels uh, I installed them and I gone over it a little bit the vehicle and let's talk about it and see what they actually gave us here so Let's start with the first glance on it uh, while it's standing on the box um, Talking about the small thing. Okay first big wheels much bigger than the regular fifth scale those are much 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 bigger and but there is another step up from that so if you got it and you're one of those uh guys that need everything to be much 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 bigger uh they do sell bigger tires and i do have them in stock now of course it's have the nice bumper it's have the big uh tall front over here kind of look like a ford truck to be honest with you guys um and then there's the extra step that they have here uh, there is a frame sliders on the top uh, those are actually very important especially when you flip the truck going um, going very fast popping wheelie this help to protect your vehicle now over here on the front they always forget to do the same thing so I'm gonna 3d print uh, some sliders to put here on the front uh, just to make it stronger and I also gonna make an extension for the bumper so for here there is two screws on the top uh, I'm gonna make something that kind of going up like kind of a u-shape so when you hit it if you hit a bumper or you hit a rock or something that is actually above your bumper it's not gonna break the entire body look as soon as you press this you warp in the entire car and this is this is the impact that all of you guys breaking your vehicles with now let's look around big fan on the back uh, spoiler and it's funny because uh, the spoiler have you remember what this thing is uh, it's usually for race cars not for for not talking about the wheels I'm talking about this um, anyway um, so they have good wheelie bars on it okay and big fin on the back for it the rear there is of course a small protection over here on the rear like when you go backwards and there is a big everything on it now let's open it up and see what's going on inside now they do have the slots over here uh, to cool it down the motor I will highly recommend to make more cuts here if you're not lazy remove the stickers from here take your Dremel tool and just make those as a slots exactly like this uh, it will help up with cooling uh, but kind of big time if you're not lazy put a fan over there you will thank me later especially if you're in California when it's hundred something degrees here all the time okay now let's pull this okay so already I see a problem here um, those small tiny tin 
those rubber pieces that uh, help to keep the pins they're going to break they're going to break very easily so when you pull it try to pull it actually from the pin not from those pieces as soon as i stretch it it's feel like it's going to tear in my hand i'm going to show you here look, look as soon as you stretch it it's it's so strong it will break so just try to grab the pin and open it it will it will live longer in your vehicle um let's go to the front i think the front will be exactly the same thing because this is how it is those if you have a problem to hold it side we'll just lift it a little bit and pull it's it's make life easier and then this, again here you lift it and pull now they do put here the reinforcement now i did make uh, clear specialty uh, stickers that make from material that call clear broad they usually put it on real cars to put your circle so you never scratch it when you put it in and out so if anyone want to purchase those uh, just uh, send me a text and I can send you the address and see like how how can we sell it to you now you ready let's take out the body and see what's going on here so first thing that i see okay is the huge servo they put a much bigger steering servo over here they put a much bigger motor and the, there is a different esc so this esc it's a new esc that they got but before we're talking about all this um i just want to explain a couple different things most of those vehicles when it's a first version there is always small problem with it that eventually need to get uh solved if it's by us the customers or by arma that being said a company that release a product that they have a small problem it's not your problem so if you bought a vehicle no matter where and like the bearing fell after a couple hours uh those stuff are under warranty just so you know so whenever you go and buy stuff from a hobby shop just so you know that like you know um talk to the hobby shop i usually deal with it food my customer if the customer lives too far i just tell them to fill up the warranty explain to him what to do and then uh horizon will send them the parts so this just being said so bearings and other small stuff that break sometimes those those dog bones actually the pin fly off because it's so strong so it's something important to know now let's start with a smaller thing that uh, exists already in the other truck those big humongous shocks are still here um those big a arms you know it's actually it's not a top a arm it's a support of the arm the arm is on the bottom this is just to support the upper arms um those are actually pretty massive here this is just the rod and it's actually big and this is the upper a arm and it's actually also very strong very very beefy um very thick material actually then this new uh esc that they have with a big capacitor it's actually look pretty cool um again they go in here with a big ec5 plug it's actually ic5 ec5 the same thing if you did not know so if you have like the blue connectors those are ec5 and those are ic5 so it's just the horizon tin with a smart connector just to to show you some stuff information on your battery on your send into your remote now you do a sliding battery mount over here that you can actually separate in order to make it actually bigger or smaller for your battery and they put it here in millimeters how far you need to go so if you measure the measurement is already here uh when you look overall in the the design of the vehicle it's actually designed really good very big a lot of aluminum stuff very heavy also so you have to be careful if you give it to your kids and i have a lot of people doing this buying this for five years old i don't know why uh, but we cannot stop people from doing that um, if they hit a real car or hit you your leg is broken if they hit a real car the car is gone um, now there is the support right here uh, and this is support for the frame not to bend during jumps now you guys see there is a hole over there there's a hole right there okay so i will tell you something you do it if you want don't do it if you don't um take a drill remove the shaft make a hole through this all the way to the bottom of the frame and then you have to counter sink it find a couple washer put it inside and put a bolt with a screw going all the way to the top and make here another reinforcement hooking this part into your lower part of the frame this will make this vehicle 10 times stronger because what you do you're going to spread all the stress of the vehicle right now is just a bridge 
it's doing absolutely nothing because it's open underneath. Ah, I cannot see there. Never mind. Anyway, there's a space underneath it. It's 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 not connected. So if you're gonna connect between those two pieces, you're gonna create a much 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 stronger structure. Um, you're just closing the, the 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 case and it will be stronger. Now, center shaft here. The nice look look. There is almost no movement, but look what I'm moving here. I'm actually moving the bearing. It's funny. I'm actually literally moving the bearings over there. Uh, but it's cool. Front one, same thing. First time that I'm doing this and don't need the click, 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 click of hitting like. Also on the front and rears, I cannot hear this noise. There's no freedom. So this is actually awesome. Finally, they listen after I'm telling them this for like 12 years now. Now. Looking at this motor, so they upgrade the motor over here, okay? So this motor right now, it's a 4200 uh, series and it's 1100 kV. Uh, the previous cars that you got was having much, much smaller motors in them. They were still 8S, but it was smaller can. Now, I do know that Arma have even a bigger motor than that, and I don't know why they did not use that, but you also have the big area over here to put a castle creation and of course that we're going to do that now that's being said there is a big fan over here and it's really cool you know it's coming with the cars it's part of the deal but there's a small window here okay um a lot of you guys don't even have a clue that it's there and don't understand what it is and i keep saying in my videos and then people come to the shop to fix stuff and i see that it's still closed so this little window here it's connected with a small nut over there and a screws underneath when you open it up and it will shift kind of from here to there so it's a small slots that will open this way and then air will flow toward your engine electric motor whatever you want to call it and cool it down you're not going to get too much dust dirt or water from here to make your your uh, motor dirty but it will help with cooling it because everything here is closed and if you don't do that it's going to be kind of a problem of overheating your motor um other thing that i usually like to do is to add another bigger fans over here faster this one looks pretty nice it's actually have a lot of blades i believe that it's going to be like pretty strong but add another one uh again especially if you're in california we're in los angeles it's 116 degrees was this year uh, you cannot really run it in this heat now frame wise we're looking again at the 7075 aluminum and this thing look like if it's about four millimeter it's actually four to five i need to take my caliper and check i didn't even look in the book but i think that it's actually it's a five millimeter and this is very very thick material to use very very tough material uh but again as i mentioned before there is something here that you guys are going to need to deal with so please make the hole there is actually a hole all already there so there is a hole there but i don't know why they never put the screw i did not even see that there is a hole now when i'm looking at it there is a hole over there and i don't think it's missing the screw um one second i want to show you guys what i'm talking about so you don't think that i'm crazy see this hole over here right there there is a hole without a screw going through it need to have a screw and a spacer between the two pieces and they did not do it uh too sad but it's an easy fix while we're there we can look at the bottom of this truck the bottom of this truck look pretty awesome again with the graphic already and telling you that the uh, exb and it's funny all those marks that they do like the graphics in white this is exactly where you're gonna get scratches right later uh let's put this thing back down and what else am i missing something i'm probably missing a lot of thing because i never read instruction it's 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 a quick review uh you guys gonna get it break it anyway so what right the better um the tower here the, your shock tower it also still the plastic shock towers and the body mount is still plastic you know they're kind of uh flexible so they're not gonna break easily but the shock towers in the previous version there is a problem of breaking those uh, I do know someone make it from aluminum. It will be cool if those things came with a red aluminum front and back. We'll make it a little bit cooler. Again, here we talked earlier about this bumper. Um, too bad it's not going a little bit higher and connect here to the center. So it's going to actually get impact and transfer it for the entire uh, vehicle. Now, 
I'm gonna show something right here that I showed in a previous video, the entire system for steering. So of course we have the dog bones here and then we have the lower arm, we have the upper arm. We have here plastic aluminum and then the steel uh, ball over here for the jo ball joint so it can actually turn. Couple years ago, I was trying to explain people that keep uh, mentioning that their Traxxas is the best in the world. The Traxxas don't do the Traxxas have a small four mil. It's not even four; it's a three millimeter screw going from the bottom and one from the top, and that's it. They don't have this big uh, ball joint that actually make a smoother movement and actually make the parts much stronger and don't snap like on Traxxas vehicle. So for all those people that want to tell me that the Traxxas X-Max is the strongest, best, beautiful, it's not. This is probably the strongest vehicle right now that you find on the market. I don't think that there's anything that will get close to it right now. I think this is going to be a big Traxxas killer. And all the other vehicle, any vehicle I think is better than Traxxas to be honest with, with you guys. Some of you guys don't want to listen to it, but this is the, the, the fact. Now, you do have here the wires that run in for the fan, um, you know, and they have, a, they have an adapter here. So you can actually open it up, put a splitter whenever you want to put actually extra fans. So you don't have to open the receiver and actually uh, dig inside in order to put more wires for it. So you already have something outside. Since you're only going to use like for fan or LED light, uh, this is going to be just fine. Um, that's it let's put a body back the body inside by the way have also the support the bridge um, what I usually recommend is to put uh, gorilla tape duct tape any kind of thick tape inside to make it even stronger so it's gonna last forever or the first five minutes whatever come first okay this is there oops this is here and look at this monster this is absolute monster and you know it's it's big truck gonna be pretty again couple things that i think that they should have done better is put a castle creation uh horizon talk to castle you guys two american companies work together their motors are better than yours nothing to do about it buy their motors Put it in your trucks and you will have the ultimate biggest baddest truck on the market nothing will compare to it i don't know i don't understand why it's haven't been done yet because like 90 percent of people doing this there is another company called tp motors uh they are cool they're quick but they burn easily um there's another company poseidon i don't even want to go there um i tried did not like it so much uh was fat was very good but short-lived um so that's what's going on here uh i got those in stock right now if anybody want to get one um this is my demo car so i go into demo and see what happened to it and show you guys a couple of video about what really happened to those vehicle when you abuse them and then we'll see with the time what will happen to it don't forget like subscribe and share and don't forget to leave comment below if you ever want to get something for free maybe this who knows see you in my next video